The formation of a NATO-like alliance in the Pacific continues to pick up steam. In the latest chapter, Australia wants to partner with the United States to field a fleet of flying MQ-28 Ghost Bat drones. The Ghost Bats are the first drones developed by Boeing Australia and will be the first Australian-made attack drones in more than 50 years. So the MQ-28 is, is really modular. Um, we, can, we can tailor it to different things and we can bring it pretty far forward. Um, the, the cost and the size of it and it being autonomous, it can even be to the point where, it, where it's a tritable, where we can put it at risk that we wouldn't take with other airplanes. A lethal drone that can be tailored to the mission and is cheap enough to lose if the mission requires. The Ghost Bat definitely checks a lot of boxes for modern militaries. Boeing created the Ghost Bat with the ability to fly autonomous missions or to team up with manned aircraft as part of a joint squadron. In its 2023 Defense Strategic Review, the Australian government cited these design characteristics as key reasons to pursue a partnership with the U.S., saying the program should be a, quote, priority for collaborative development. The U.S. Air Force is testing the MQ-28 platform as part of its Collaborative Combat Aircraft Program. Boeing says the Ghost Bat is designed for missions that are dull, dirty, and dangerous. Flying over a fixed point for hours on end, monitoring overwhelming streams of data, and all the while searching for and defending against enemy targets is extremely taxing on pilots. But computers don't get tired, so a cauldron of ghost bats can help keep pilots fresh and alert during missions. It's why the U.S. military and Boeing call drones like the Ghost Bat force multipliers. The capabilities they bring to the conflict zone can impact every domain of warfare, and we're likely just scratching the surface. I think the technology is actually outpacing how fast we can integrate it. You know, there's, there's a ton of technology out there figuring out how we can integrate it safely uh, with all of our manned platforms and, and safely and in a battle space context is really the hard part. We have more unbiased straight fact reporting on weapons development and drones in the military at straightarrownews.com. Thanks for watching. In this time of media mistrust, Straight Arrow News is on a mission to bring you unbiased, fact-based reporting. So like and subscribe to Straight Arrow News below. And to see all of our content, go to straightarrownews.com.